everyone was talking about what happened between Jack Shore and I on uh, Monday, the back and forth. Obviously, um, what are we calling it? Blackout gate, darts gate, uh, 10 seconds gate, of blackness. Yeah. I can't believe I, I'm watching the fight on Saturday and there's a promo for a 30 for 30 on this moment. First of all, it warms my heart. I guess, you know, everything's cool between us, you know, worldwide leader, shout out, one of the greatest three years of my life. I loved it. They're doing a, th did you guys see this? They're doing a 30 yeah, for yeah, 30. Yeah, I saw, I saw. On, I didn't see it, let me see. Oh my gosh, 30 for 30 on the Jack Shore controversy from this program. Frank, did you see this, the promo during the fights? You Were know, you working? I was working. Gosh, okay. No, we watched it together. It was amazing. Would, Come on, man. Regardless, here it is. Here's the promo. It aired during the fights. Go ahead. So honestly, I need to see the board because I feel like you're going to cheat. No, I would not cheat. Here we go. Move, move it a little bit. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right what if there. I told you that a little white lie would yeah, be the catalyst the right for the single most colossal way? downfall of any athlete in the history of combat sports? What, it was 32? No, no. No, 20, 20, and 12. 20, that see. this rising star's toughest fight of his career wouldn't take place in an octagon, but in a small, dingy bedroom where a battle with pride would prove tougher than any hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ooh, is that a double 20? No, it's not. A, it's a triple 20. No, no, just no, no. inside. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Single. 20, 20, and 12. Not that bad. honor and deception uh, were only separated by a few millimeters. You can't beat the Welsh dog. ESPN's critically acclaimed 30 for 30 presents Dark Gate. 10 seconds of blackness. Unbelievable. Monday, March 20th. Wait a second. Today's March 20th. Yeah, it comes out tonight. Wow. Whoa. It's a, it's a quick turnaround. Oh, yeah, my God. I know some people that In the Monday Night Football 30. slot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know it's not a big. That was fantastic, cool. and 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 I'm happy that they asked us. Um, you know, for footage like like it's all clear. Like they can use whatever they want. 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Of course, um, of course. You know, news value, whatever. But then Saturday night, I'm wrapping up, and then I'm watching the news. I'm watching the 11 p.m. news. Frank, you saw this, right? And they did a yeah. report on it. I didn't see this one. An inter you didn't see this? Oh, An international watch incident. TV. They're talking about this on yeah, the local news. news. I'm Amity watching <laughs> the local news and international news at the same time. It's Do local and international. And they did yeah, a report yeah, on it. it. Do we have okay, it? Let me see you this. See? I missed this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got oh, it. my right. God. Take a look. The international news clip. We have the international news clip. Yeah, yeah we got it. Our top story this evening, triumph or trickery, we will let you decide. It's a story that has the entire sports world up in arms. A friendly game of darts seems innocent, right? Well, according to our latest poll, 84% of our viewers believe there may have been some foul play involved. You see that dart? Well, if you ask UFC fighter Jack Shore, he will tell you that dart is sitting is crazy. just inside the 20 point region. Yes. Look. How? But if we zoom in a bit closer, <laughs> that doesn't appear to be the case. How is this possible? When asked to comment on the scandal, yes. Dana White had this to say. Oh. I believe that you're a cheater, and I believe that you use steroids. <laughs> <laughs> As for oh. Ariel Helwani, yes. he says Look at that he's chest been hair. in talks with the New York State Athletic Commission and yes. is confident his loss will be overturned. That is true. Jack Shaw's attorney refused to comment as there is an ongoing investigation. More on this developing story tonight at 10 p.m. I mean, there it is. International news. I'm watching it on Saturday night, just relaxing after 286, and it comes on the telly. I mean, could you believe that? I can't that? believe that. Unbe He's going to have to do the story at 10 o'clock tonight after what's about to happen right I'm now. They're going to have to update the doc. This is crazy. It's incredible. Jack Shore, featherweight debut. Unbelievable win. Comes back in the Easy second work. round. Submits Makwan Amir Khani. Was wondering if we'd get a shout out in the uh, post-fight interview in the cage. We did not. Fair play. If you cheated, I wouldn't, you know, shout out the cheating situation myself, but did get a mention in the post-fight presser. Here it is. 
the dark, <laughs> the dark drama has. How much has that followed you this this fight week? You know why? It's, it's been. I haven't really been on. So I don't ever really go on social media too much fight week. Um, but it's been brilliant. Um, I'm an innocent man, and uh, I'm gonna put Ariel to bed on uh, on Monday. Let me tell him. So you're gonna go to New York sometime? Do if you want to put me on a flight first class to New York, I'm there, and we'll do it in person. But none of this free dart. If I, if if I beat him on Monday or when I beat him on Monday, we're gonna play a proper game of darts, five oh one. We're not playing none of this free score. Oh, we're gonna play nonsense? a proper game, five oh one, finish on the double. And now he's trying to change the rules, talking about it in the pre-fight. Let's not waste any time. Let's say hello to the victorious. Jack Tankshore. Oh, there he is. Hello, Jack. How are you? The MMA hour's most controversial guest is <laughs> back, boys. <laughs> Could you believe all that? They're talking about it on the news. They're making a documentary about your cheating ways. Isn't this amazing? I can't believe uh, I can't believe Dana even passed comment on <laughs> it as well. <laughs> They're asking about it at the pre-fight and the post-fight. Every every interview you did last <laughs> week, were they asking you about it? Pretty much, pretty much every interview, pretty much like every other message was regarding Darkgate. Uh, the MMA our community has, has come for me, put it that way. Would you like, see, we're, we're going to rematch, okay? It's the only fair thing to do, but go on, come clean, let the world know what you did, and then we could just move past it and have a fair, you know, rematch. Go ahead, tell us what you did. Go ahead. The floor is yours. Listen, listen, Ariel, as, as I've been saying all week, you know, I'm an innocent man. These Photoshop pictures you're pulling up, <laughs> these videos. And, and as the old saying goes, you either die an hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And uh, if that's what, 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 what people want to see me as, then so be it. Wow. That sounds like an admission of guilt to me, if I'm being honest. No, don't, you, don't be putting no words <laughs> in my mouth now. Uh, all right. So we will rematch. And we have to figure out a way to get your iPad to, I don't know if we figured that out yet, but like we need a better angle there because that seems to be part of the problem. No, I've got assessed. I've got assessed. We're not, I'm not going to flip the camera. I'm okay. just going to go straight from the desk, straight to the board. All right. All right. We'll do that in a moment. But first let's talk about the fight itself. Congratulations. What a performance. Could I ask what was going on in the first round? What happened there? Because it was getting a little bit, uh, all right, what's going on? We'll talk about what happened in between the first and second, but your assessment of the first round. Yeah, to be honest, I kind of felt, obviously I've had a good couple of months out of the cage and I just felt a little bit stuck in the mud to start. I kind of, we knew, we knew Mark, what Mark Brown was going to do. We obviously knew he was going to get tired, and but we knew he's explosive in the first round. I just felt, looking back, I probably waited for him a little bit too much. Um, he shot his takedown and um, as he as I tried to like sprawl, my my foot kind of got caught under me and I felt a couple of my toes like bend the wrong way. <laughs> and um, So I, I just kind of like, got the coat on my back and to be fair, he's got a lot of wrestling experience, a lot of grappling experience and he's very dangerous that like, anaconda choke. So I didn't want to, you know, try and scramble up and, and be sort of too careless and then jump on that neck and, and put me in danger there. So, but you know, I kind of, we got the stage, I thought I've lost this round now, just keep myself safe, keep him honest, keep him working and, and, you know, let's try and turn it around from, from the second. What happens in between the first and second? Uh, it seemed like your father was a little bit, the great shaky shore, seemed like a little bit upset with you. Have you ever heard him <laughs> get that fired up in between rounds? No, you know, he's usually pretty chill in between rounds. Him and Carl, my, my Carl Parker, my, my, uh, my MMA coach, they're usually quite relaxed, quite sort of, you know, direct, but, but they try to keep a calm head. But uh, yeah, he wasn't an happy man. He, uh, well, you heard the, the audio. Yeah. He, what he said was right. We spent six weeks drilling the, 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 the back leg egg kick. We spent the entire warm up drilling that. We knew that was the shot to go for that was going to start opening up. And uh, <laughs> I didn't throw any of it in, uh, in the first round. So I thought, uh, you know, he's, he's a little bit, he's pretty pissed off. I thought, so if I go out and, uh, and don't do this now straight away, he's uh, got out me coming in for the third round. So it was what I needed as well. You know, I knew, I knew in my head I'd lost the first round anyway, but. You know, I need I need a little bit of a shake up, and I need to be woken up um, with with some brutal honesty to tell the truth. And uh, it worked. Uh, you were a different man in the second. <laughs> you get the finish in the second against a very tough guy to submit. Considering the last few months, considering what happened in July in New York, could you describe what that felt like when he tapped? Oh, it was unbelievable. It was just like such a like a weight had been lifted off my shoulder. You know, I. I 
obviously lost my last fight. There's, and there's always that sort of, you know what can happen? You lose a couple of fights in a row. Things can go out and you can, you can get on a slippery slope. Um, you know, people start to count you out. The amount of, the, of stuff I've seen online the last couple of months about, you know, Jack, Jack Shaw was never this and never that. I was all hype. And, you know, to, to kind of pull out of bed and show, to submit a guy then that hasn't been subbed in, I think I've seen Nick Pete say he hasn't been subbed for 12 years. So um, to put him away and obviously do it the way I did after having such a lackluster first round, uh, felt amazing. You know, he, he's been in there with some elite level guys at that weight class. So to, to go in there and, and put him away, especially, you know, moving up in my first fight, it felt really good. And um, it's nice to, to not go to the decision for a change, to be honest. My last couple of wins have, have all been decisions. So it's nice to finally get back in, 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 on, on, a, on a bit of a finishing run as well. Oh, oh there it is again. That darn there it is iPad. again. That darn... By the way, are you wearing that t-shirt on purpose, Weekend Defender? It feels like you're trying to tell us something there. Admit nothing? I mean, what is that all about? No, that's my sponsor, Weekend okay. Defender. Don't bring them into it. No, I mean, admit and, nothing. It's right nothing. there. It's twisting. It's it, it twisting the storyline. <laughs> it's twisting it again. Um, what about the fight week? What about like not having to cut those extra 10 pounds? How 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 enjoyable was fight week this time? It was, it was a complete different experience. Like my... my my coaches were saying on uh, on Sunday in the car on the way home, they've never seen me so much fight week. It's usually to train in the morning, go go back to bed, get up, train again, and kind of chill in the room. Whereas I just had so much more energy. I felt like I could, could take in the stuff like the media day, the photo shoots, the interviews, you know, even just being around the hotel and being, being around the other fighters and, and the UFC staff. It was nice to just be able to relax. You know, it wasn't like a case of, how am I going to make weight? It was a, just a case of when Thursday comes, we'll, we'll knuckle down and, and do it. I uh, it, it just felt so much more energized. I was still doing two sessions a day right up until Thursday. Um and, and still had plenty left in the tank. You know, the weight cut was was really comfortable. I got shout out um my nutritionist Paul Reed for that. He made it you know a real comfortable cut. And um yeah, I just felt like a new man. I felt like everything I'd been like vision envisioning in the camp about you know a better fight week, a better weight cut, you know, a better performance. It kind of all come into practice, and I was I was glad that it kind of showed me that I made the right choice in in making the move up. So we're we're, we're done with thirty five. This confirms that you're staying at forty five. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I can't, you know, I, I can't see myself going going back down there again. I, I mean, I'm, I'm only as I get older, you actually get a bit bigger and a bit heavier anyway. So you know, I don't think I'll ever be able to go up the one fifty five, but but I think forty five is is definitely going to be my own for the future. What was it like being back at the O2, back in front of the UK crowd? Yeah, it was what it, it was. Everything, about the, even not even just the O2, the entire fight week just felt ten times bigger because of the the pay per view and obviously the stars that were on the card. There was like fans at the hotel the entire week. Every time you leave the hotel, you get swarmed outside, and then the, the atmosphere inside the O2 was insane. Um, I, I had a really good spot on the card in terms of like I think pretty much everyone. Who, who was who had bought a ticket was at, was in there by the time my fight was on and uh, from the walkout you could just feel the energy straight away the intros even in the fight like if certain things were, as I was building momentum in the fight I just feel the crowd getting wilder and wilder and even walking out the cage it was like your security had to yank me out of there in the end because how many people you know, trying to lean over and grab you and stuff it was just insane like I've never fought on a pay per view card and you probably don't appreciate the the difference in magnitude till till you do it and. Uh, the fact that it was in the UK as well obviously made it ten times bigger for a British guy. So it, it was insane. I'd love to love to think that he'll come back and do another pay per view before the year is out. Do you think Mach One? Um, I saw that he posted something on social media before the fight. We have it here, um, and uh, the caption is escaping me at the moment. But it did seem like he was like a little bit uh, dismissive of you. Tell me what this says here, uh, Connor again. Because uh, I... In March, Jack will cry, and then he will realize that maybe the lower set is a better option after all. Hashtag Mr. Finland is back. Did you did you see any of this stuff? And did you feel like he was uh, <laughs> looking past you a little bit? I didn't see it till after the fight, but he's quite a smug guy. You know, he was smug all fight week, and uh, he had a bit of a smirk on his face at the weigh-ins and Indian throws, so it was nice to wipe it off his face, to be honest. And um, maybe he should consider dropping down weight, perhaps, because... Uh, <sighs> If uh, you know if he's getting wiped out by me, and, and I should realize that the lower class is better, maybe he ought to look at going down as well. Or going up, I don't know. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, I had Damon Jackson text me this morning when he saw that you were going to be on the show, saying that uh, he'd like he'd love to fight you next. Does that interest you? Does someone else interest you after this win? 
yeah, I think that'd be a good fight. It'd be, be a fun one. Um, you know, I got a lot, lot going on the next couple of months, so I'm not, I'm not going to rush into like setting a date or anything yet. I've, I've got, you know, my, my dad's got treatment again now this week, and you know, my missus is due to give birth in July, but uh, I, I'll be ready. Where I go before, before that or, or after, yeah, that that'd be a fun one. I've seen him fight before. You know, he's a, he's a good guy, but then there are some good guys himself. So that that that'll, that'll be a good one. You're you're expecting a child. Is this your first one? Yes. Wow. Yes, it is. The baby, baby show's on the way. Lo- a boy or girl? A little boy. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Congratulations to you both. That's incredible. So, oh, thank you, thank you, Ariel. So was this your first? This was your first time fighting, knowing that you're about to become a dad, right? In July, you obviously didn't know. Um, did that change anything for you? Yeah, you know, it, it was just a little bit of extra motivation. Obviously, I I don't just got to worry about myself no more. I got I got another mouth to feed. I, I got someone else's head. I got to keep a roof over. And you know, it it just gives me a little bit more incentive that they, you know I'm fighting for a reason. Now, before I just used to do it because I loved it, and I still do love it. But you know, now it's a a, a way of of making sure that that you know he grows up and doesn't want for nothing, and 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 can sort of have all the good things in life and what more motivation could I could I need other than that you know you're a dad yourself I'm sure you know how it feels and um, like I said I can't wait for July to come and my world to be turned upside down what are you going to tell your son uh, when he's old enough you know about this whole dart situation I mean are you going to try to tell him the truth so that he doesn't follow your cheating ways or are you going to try to like what are you what are you going to do are you going to raise him to do these sorts of things change the camera I mean what are you like you're 24 yeah, you don't know how to I, change the camera what, what are we talking about here and I'm going to tell him uh, the truth that his old man whopped Ariel twice in, uh, <laughs> in the dark, tw- twice, in, twice, in one, twice in one week. All right. All right. Um, you, you mentioned uh, your father. Uh, you guys kept this close to the vest. Um, you mentioned in the post-fight press conference that he's, uh, that he's battling cancer, and you said that he's having treatment this week and obviously wish him the best, nothing but the best. He's a lovely, lovely man and uh, only you know hear great things about him. How were you able to not be too emotional in there. To, that, that's a lot to deal with. Um, and that's for normal people who aren't going into a cage fight with their father by their side. He's, he's your coach. He's your confidant. He's your best friend. Like all these things. How are you able to deal with all those emotions? Yeah, it was, it was really tough. Um, it's been a tough camp, to be honest here. Like I said, we found out, like I literally got off at a spot on the London card and we kind of find, found out, I want to say like four or five days after that, we had the news. Um, so it was like, I, I didn't really want to fight the start. And he was like, look, let's just speak to the doctors and let's kind of see where we are with it and, and what their plan is. And he, he kind of talked me around. and was like, no, I want you to do it. And I'm, I'm going to do my best to kind of, because I, I mean, if he can't be there, I'm not going to fight. There's, there's no like two ways about it. There's no bring someone else. And if he, if he couldn't make the fight or wasn't well enough or had treatment, then I just wouldn't have fought. Um, so, he, you know, he talked me around to do it. And it was, it was a tough camp because... We, I'm just so used to having him there, you know, every session of every day. And there was obviously weeks where, you know, we've had three, three bouts of chemo during this, uh, this camp, which means, you know, he, he's kind of bed bound for like five, six days. And then he, even when he is able to, to get out of bed, he's got to be so careful about being around people because of infection. You know, he, he picks up a, a cold and it can be a life threatening situation for him. So you know, I had to do a fair bit of training, you know, w- without him there at the, at the kind of rely on my other coaches to pick the slack up a little bit. I had to rely on on him sort of just, even just coming in for private sessions with me, which is not what I'm used to. I'm used to having him there and he's life and soul of the gym. So it was tough. Um, but, you know, we, we, we was lucky that, that the doctors managed to finish that stage of his treatment before the fights. And um, truth be told, I kind of just wanted to put in the back of my head fight week. And, um, you know, it, it was a good release, to be honest. A, a fight week helped me forget about it and, it was kind of after the fight was over, I seen he, he, he was emotional and it kind of, it kind of triggered me off a little bit then. And it was, it was a bit, like I said, it's been a tough, tough few months for me, let, let alone for him. I can't imagine what, what it's been like for him, but he's, he never let on, you know, he never lets on that, uh, that he's in pain. He never lets on that he's feeling ill or down. You, you wouldn't even know that, that he was going through it unless I came out and said it. Um, so, you know, it, it was just a, an overwhelmed, overwhelming amount of emotions kind of when the fight was done I'm just so happy to to win and you know he was adamant that we don't mention it before and he didn't want to as you know because pick up a loss and straight away people are kind of put that and that together and like oh well that's that's the reason he lost and we didn't want that I was like if we're going to do it we we do it and treat it like like nothing's going on but uh 
yeah, I waffled on a bit there, but it, it was um, it, it it was a it was a long sort of draining camp. It's nice nice to be it's nice to have it done now and kind of out out there because you have we have people around that you know Wales and online rumors start to circulate and and they're kind of messaging me and messaging him and because we haven't really put it out there, but now it's out there. It kind of feels like. I don't know. I don't know how it feels for him, but it feels like a little bit of a relief, really, that people know what he's going through now and can like kind of look back and think, well, for him to to, to do all that whilst going through chemotherapy and and all the other shit, then then you know that doesn't give give people inspiration and motivation. Nothing will. How, how is he doing now? Yeah, he's he's well. He's really well. You know, he's like two two weeks removed now from his last bout of of chemo. So the side effects that I've kind of worn off he, he's back in for a scan now tomorrow morning and i think he starts his his radiotherapy on wednesday so he's got three weeks of that and then he's back to the doctors then blood scans and and you know we, we see where we go from there we, we're kind of hopeful that that'll, that'll be the end of it even if it's you know just for a couple of months but uh we, we'll have to just kind of play it by you but think fingers crossed you know in a, in in a, in a month or two now we'll we'll know where we are and, and it'll be positive well, God bless him and, and your family, and I wish him nothing but the best, and, and hopefully that this will be over very, very soon. I have to admit, when you mentioned it in the post-fight press conference, then I was like, damn, I kind of feel bad for all the dart stuff. Now I feel like an <laughs> A-hole. I was like, sheesh, I had the video. No, right. no, <laughs> I no. was like, oh, he, God. No, I don't. <laughs> he, he, he's been loving it all week because like, I've been off um, I've been off like Twitter and Instagram for the most part of the week, and he's just fucking like, constantly, look, look at this, look what Ariel's posted to Don. <laughs> please don't, don't feel... Don't feel bad because that's that's the last thing he would want. He, he doesn't want the he doesn't want a pity party. He doesn't want the guilt trip. You know that's not who he is. Um, he, he's not that type of character. So uh, and I'm sure w- when you speak to him, he'll tell you the same thing. Okay. All right. So now I don't feel bad for whooping your ass in a matter of seconds here. Uh, <laughs> so what are you trying to do? You're, you're trying to change the rules? No, it's three on three. That's what those are MMA hour rules. By the way, if we do five hundred one, we're going to be here for forty five minutes. You have a dinner to get to, and I have other shows. No, no, other people yeah. to talk to. So you right? will be here. I will you be. You will be here yes. for forty five minutes. I'll right. be here for about fifteen minutes. <laughs> okay. So are you ready for this? Okay. This is the rematch. One of the most yes. anticipated rematches. I mean, we just came off a rematch. This is a bigger one. Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman pales in comparison <laughs> to Shore versus Helwani too, all right? So... I can't wait to see the numbers. I can't wait to see the pay-per-view numbers. Oh, uh, it's going to be fantastic. They, you know what? We should, we should stop the stream right now and put this up behind a paywall because everyone's been buzzing about this. <laughs> so are you comfortable with the setup over there? What do you... Like, I want you to be comfortable. Yeah. You're going to shoot... I'm going to tilt the camera. Yeah. I'm going to turn the camera. Should I turn the camera now? To, yeah, let's like, turn. So you can see the board. Yeah, and you got to leave it there because back. this black. I don't know yeah, where that blackness came from last time. I mean, it was unbelievable. Okay, there it is. Now, did you see? Can the you see f- the board now? Oh, I see it just fine. But there was a one shot where it like clearly looks like it's above, and you claimed it was down. I don't understand what kind of angle this is. I like this angle. Oh, he's spin, spinning the narrative again. Like, okay, so wait, and so here's the question: when when you're done with the three shots, you're then gonna pick it up and just go straight to it, right? I'm gonna selfie it straight to the board. Okay, all right. Do you feel you want a practice shot or what? No. So we well, you want a practice shot? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. We'll all go right. straight in then. <laughs> Let me get the dot. I'm so nervous here. This is incredible stuff. Here we go. This is the rematch. <laughs> Jack Shore trying to redeem himself, trying to clear his no, good no, Jack, name. Jack Shore going two and zero. All right, here we go. Okay, tell me what it is. Sixteen. Sixteen. Are you sure about that? Don't get nervous now. now. Don't lie to us, Jack. Okay, don't get nervous. 16. 16 again. Okay, here we go. No we pressure, go. Jack. No pressure. Oh, fuck. Off the, <laughs> off the so, board? What was it? What was it? Off the board. Oh, nice. it's 32. 32. By the way, wasn't it 32 last time? 16. Six. Oh, you almost got a double 16. I know. Do you right. see that now? I see it just fine, Jack. And see, this is what happens when the pressure is on. You crumble under the pressure, all right? And by the oh, way, second... in my year, trash talk, and I'm not happy with that. By the way, second straight week, you go off the board. First time, you actually admit it. No, no, this is the first time we've gone off the board. Okay, here we go. I'm putting on my headphones. Are you nervous, Come Jack? Come on now, Ariel. Because, you know, I'm going to talk a lot no, of shit. It? I'm yeah, about- I know you are. <laughs> All right, here I come, guys. Guys, Frank. Yeah. Are you rooting me on? I am rooting you on. 
All right. See, the other thing is, Jack, I'm not used to doing it with the headphones, okay? I get very nervous with the headphones, but I'm going to do this. Yeah, you've got to go better board than this. Okay. Than <laughs> Why? What's wrong with my board? Vapor, come on. Is it shite? Rich, richest man in MMA journalism and you've got a fucking Viper board. You know what? I got to be honest with you. I went on Amazon and it was the cheapest <laughs> one and that's why I bought it. <laughs> I knew it. But can, can, I be, can I tell you something, Jack? This is incredible. The PDC, the, the, one of the head guys of the PDC, I swear to you, sent me an email and said he saw our battle and he said what you just it, said. It. He said we need to get you Seriously? a better board. <laughs> the, the, PD, the PDC followed me on Thursday. Ah. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the people who um, see like the blue ring around my board, it's made by a company called uh, Red Dragon Dart. Yeah. They sponsor um, they sponsor a lot of the pros. They sponsor Gezi and, and Johnny, the, the, the two Welsh boys. They, they're a Welsh company. They're like their main sponsor. And they messaged me on, uh, on Twitter saying they've seen the video. And do I want do I want some stuff for my dark journey? <laughs> so I was like, fucking yes. Uh, I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm flipping the headphones. Come on now, no pressure. Here it is. Is this better for you, uh, Frank? Yes. They feel very uncomfortable now for some reason. All right, no pressure. Here we go. So I have to beat a 32, right? I have to tell you yeah. something, Jack. When I get nervous, I get very OCD. I have to touch everything twice. Joe's noticing this. I touch everything twice. I have a lot of super tests <laughs> because I want to clear my good name and I want to freaking bury you, all right? This is, by the way, this is for all my friends in England. This is for all my friends in Northern Ireland. We're going to kick Wales out of the United Kingdom right here and now. No, 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 no. Here we go. 32? Second, I just have to crack my knuckles, Jack. All right, there's a lot of pressure on me. I'm oh, doing this. I'm this doing <laughs> the pre game ritual. Just gets it I'm one very, step further every time. I'm very sweaty. I'm doing this for the entire Commonwealth. All right, here we go, Jack. One. What is that? Is that an 18 or a four? It looks like a four. Yeah, it looks That's like a, a four. four. All right. Another one of them be great. Oh, what was that? What was that? No! Is that a one? That's a one. Oh my god! It couldn't have been closer! That looked like a bullseye, Jack! Oh my god, a five? Are you fucking... So what do you need? What do you need? You need 28. He needs 29. Or 27 to draw. No, what's my, what's my fucking math doing here? Yeah. Jack, can you, can you pipe it down over there? I'm trying to concentrate. No, nah, no one, no one piped down when I was throwing. <laughs> Oh, I almost got it again. Oh, Jack. I almost got a, a triple 20, and I got a double one, Jack. Put the dark stream song on, whoever, uh, whoever's on the, on the sound effect. Get the, the dark stream. No, the, this the is crazy. Done it. I want, I want, done it, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want a third, a trilogy, double or nothing, right here and now. Right now. Right now, winner takes all. This is it. I won last week. You won this week. No, this no, is the no, rubber no, match. No. I, it, 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 two and oh for starters. No, this is this is it. <laughs> this is one one this one. Is two and oh. Let's go. You right now. Go ahead. Do it. Right, I'll do it, but I want it. I want the record to stand. No, so it's, it's two and oh. No, the first one was it's a no contest. Oh. The first was a no contest. It was already ruled as such. I can't right. believe I bottled Are you ready? that. I can't believe I just bottled that, Jack. I'm so mad at myself right now. All right, here we go. Here's Jack. I can believe it. Here's Jack. Oh, look Eight. At oh, now he's feeling himself. No, I'm not. Seven. Oh, 15. Okay, Wait, Jack. Then. Get off the board again, Jack. That's where you belong. Off the board. Pose. Why is he off the board? Wait, I'm taking the headphones out. Oh, now you're taking the headphones? All right. I should do this without the headphones, too. 11. So what is it? What is it? What, what, what is that? 8, 7, and 11? 8, 7, and 11. Let's take it up now because there will be... Oh, yeah. he did this and he did that. Uh, right. It's really a nice board. I can't lie. Eight, oh, you almost got the uh, the triple eight there. 8, 7, 11. Okay, you know what? I'm taking off the damn headphones too, Frank, okay? I can't be bothered with this. Why are you bringing this. me in? This? All right, this is too much fucking pressure. I don't want to hear Jack's voice while I'm doing this. All right, here we go. Here comes Helwani to save the day. I'm just going to walk right up there and fucking nail it. So What, what is did that? I have? 26. 26. All right, here we go, Jack. This is it. This is it. I'm going to fucking smoke your ass. Four again. I keep going to the right. He's stepping closer to the board. Oh, again. <laughs> He's getting closer every throw. This is 
unbelievable. Ah! Did we just oh, see wait, 25, four, uh, four. No way. 25, four, four, the thing fell off. Wait, what's four, but four, two feet from the board. 33, I win. Hawani wins. Is, I can't speak. I can't <laughs> speak. Oh, I redeemed myself. Look at that, Jack. Read it and weep. Look at that. Almost got the bullseye. No way. One of the no. all time clutch Listen. wins. I can't speak. I can't win. I can't It's 2-0. <laughs> it's 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Unreal. What do you mean? He was about a foot away. About a foot away from the board on that third dart. <laughs> I'm at the line. The line's right he's here. Up. Wow. Yeah, I bet he's at the line. Jack, the power in which gonna... I threw that last one, the thing <laughs> fell off. The thing fell... Jack, I don't know what camera we're on here. The thing... Look at this. It flew off, Jack. It fell off. It was such force and power. The thing... Jack, yeah. look at this shot Some right here. Someone seem right there. Look at that shot. That is unbelievable. That, 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 last, that is a good dart, but Thank you. You, you seem just a little bit close to the ball, i got to be honest. So that's it? I win? Thank you, Jack. Thanks for playing, yeah, that's, okay? That's, that's two 2-1 that's two to me, but you know what? I'll, I'll give you the last one. All two right. legs to one. Best best of three, the, the tank reign supreme oh, fuck, again. Fuck the tank reign supreme. It was a no... By the way, if I'm being <laughs> honest, if I'm being honest, I hate to say it, if it's no contest in the first, you... Went won the last one. I, I think we need one more to settle it all. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need one. Go Wait, ahead, Jack. On. One more to all settle right, it all. Right, this me, is it. This yeah, is it. Me, I'm going to have to reset this. I'm going to have to reset this. Wait there, wait there, wait there. This is it. The war wait to there. settle the score. Right. No contest first. Jack won the second. Helwani wins the third. This is it. For all the marbles, Jack. For all the marbles. Honest Let's to go. God, the, the sweat coming out of me at the minute is unbelievable. <laughs> Right, wait there. Let me compose myself. Oh my god, oh. this is incredible theater, Jack. Unbelievable. I'm theater. taking the headphones out. All right, fine, fine, fine. Look at Jack, completely rattled by the pressure, the trash talk, the intensity. Eight. Eight again. He's just an eighter. Oh. What was boom. it? What was it? What was it? Eight and some sort of twelve situation. What was it? What was it? Trouble, trouble 15. Fuck. Fuck. He's at 53 right now. Oh my god, he's at 53 right now. For fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? Off the board. Where you belong. Off the board. Eight again. Fuck. So what? 16 plus what? Plus triple... 16 plus... 61. 16 plus 48. 61. No. Is that right? 16... Wow, triple 16. Triple 16 or triple 7? That looks like a triple 7. Get in there. Triple 16. Fucking hell. 64. 64. 64, Jack. Come on, Ariel. All right, here we go, guys. Here it is. This is for everyone who ever doubted me. This is for you everyone who ever doubted me. Right. Focus, focus, Joe. Focus. Oh, look, he better be on our mark, boys, honest to God. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <sighs> no pressure, you know. Oh, again with the fucking four. Joe, why does it keep going to four? <laughs> Don't blame Joe. Uh, game over. <sighs> it's game over. What is this? 15, fucking 3, and 7. Congrats. Wait there. Wait Jack. There. You know what? I made a critical that, error, Jack. A critical error. What, what I, was the error? I should, have, I should have ended it after the last one and taken the bragging rights. But that's the kind of guy that I am. I'm, I'm a mensch, okay? No, uh, Ariel, you ever heard this song? Wait there. Yeah. Can I hear it? Oh, this is the fucking dart song? This is the bullshit. No, you know what? I, I don't want to hear your bullshit songs, all right, Jack? You're a cheater, and cheaters never <laughs> prosper. <laughs>
I do like that song. Da, 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 da. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have Bully Boy. This is what's happening in June. Bully Boy is gonna come in studio. He's gonna teach me. We're gonna review the tape. I kept going to the right for some reason, and then whenever you come into this, I'm not paying for your first class. Nothing. All right. I'm not paying for nothing. <laughs> All right, you cheater. Hey, yo, listen, the Fuck. rules are the rules. You, no, you didn't even play my format. My format is 501 for starters. I've, I've beat you at your own game. Uh, There's nothing more to it. Congratulations, all right? I do. I, you know, I appreciate that. It does take a big man yeah. to admit defeat. So... I- down the line, at uh, some point, the, we're going to run this back. And you know what? I want to do a 501 down the line. Not, I mean, we, we need a whole yeah. hour special. Yeah, 501's got to be in person, though. All right. That would be a fucking long old, uh, a long old process. But what the Supology t-shirt is going to be in the post, and I want it on display in the okay. studio. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you kidding me? I would love it. Um, listen, the darts won. The darts won. All we're trying to do is grow the game, and I think the darts Ariel, won. The, the fans, the fans are the winners. Won. The fans are the winners. Yes, I, I look forward to the update on the uh, the news tonight of this uh, tremendous controversy. Congratulations! I want my name. I want my name <laughs> yes. right there on that news. Let me tell you. Fucking it. hell! Uh, <laughs> enjoy the victory today. Enjoy the victory on Saturday. I will see you again, my friend. But for now, all the best to you and the family, and thanks for being a good sport. Thank you, Ariel. All right. Good, good, good crack. And uh, thanks for making Fight Week a little bit more enjoyable as well. You're the man. There he is. Jack Shore, everyone. Fuck, guys. I'm so mad at myself right now.